Hello, welcome to West Yorkshire Energy Services, based in Bradford, West Yorkshire, based in the UK. Big thank you to all those that watch the channel all around the world. As I promised you, every time I get a vehicle in with a particular fault, I will share that so you know what you're dealing with, with your Nissan Navara or Nissan Frontera. Pathfinders are exactly the same engine, so if you've got a Pathfinder, you need to be aware of this. Now, come and have a look at this. I'm going to start this vehicle that's coming with a fault. 148,000 miles. I previously worked on this car. Going back 18 months ago, I did a timing chain upgrade for the customer. As you can see on the dash, there's no engine management light, no oil pressure warning light, and if I give it a rev, I wonder if you can hear the particular unusual sound that I heard then. Let's go and have a look at the engine and see what we find. Now, Checking your vehicle on a regular basis is the most important thing that you can possibly do. You don't need to rely on Nissan service in terms of conditions. My channel is about teaching you how to look after your vehicle and what you need to be looking out for in terms of faults on different parts of the engine and the symptoms and the run-on knock-on effects of ignoring these particular faults. So I strongly advise you that at least Maybe once a fortnight or at least once a month, if you don't do a lot of miles, you need to do a number of checks. Now, come and have a look at this. This particular vehicle, first thing I'm going to do is check its oil level. There's the dipstick. Give it a nice good clean. As you can see there, that's your minimum level indicator and that's your maximum level indicator. You should always, always do an oil check before you go on a long, long run. So just dip it in there, clean it out, pull it back out. Oh dear, way below the minimum. Ooh, so where has the oil gone? So let's have a look. Put that back in there. No, in fact, you should always check your coolant on a regular basis. So check your oil and check your coolant. Oh dear. Hmm, that should not be in there, that's for sure. You have a look around there. Ooh, it's not looking very good. Let's just uh, stick that in there. Oh my gilly gilly goodness, look at all that. Look at that. That is absolutely thick. So, if you don't check your vehicle, and you don't check your oil, you don't check your coolant, the knock on result of driving around, if you remember when we had a look at the dash, the oil light went, oil warning light went out. So that seems, indicates to me that's another Nissan fault. Cause you, if you don't check your vehicle, will just continue driving and the knock on result will be you'll blow your turbo and you'll also blow the big end bearings because it's obviously getting no oil so lubrication. So checking your vehicle on a regular basis is pivotal. Now that noise that I heard that I pinpointed to you is the start of the turbo failing. Now if you come and have a look at this turbo, look at how oily that is. So obviously it's been on its way out for some time. Now because the oil cooler's failed, and I'll show you what the oil cooler looks like. That's this thing here. That's just located underneath your oil filter and your oil filter housing. And basically internally it's cracked. So all the oil is going into these water pipes and then it's going into your coolant system. And like I said, ignoring it is major engine failure. At this moment in time, we can, we can save the customer a, a small fortune. So we're going to have to remove his turbo, get, get that fully reconditioned, and also change the oil cooler, change all, uh, obviously flush out the oil, get it re-antifreezed up, and we'll be able to take it from there in terms of the repair. Now let's just have a quick look in the radiator. Oh yes, look at that. Watch this, oh man, that is thick. So like I said, check your coolant, 
check your oil on a regular basis. Now this is just further proof of what we see in our workshop on a daily basis. And it just proves it's only done 148,000 miles. She's only just over 10 years old. But our channel will teach you everything that you need to know about your Nissan Navarro and its off from Terra. Now, can I share anything with you about this particular vehicle? No, but like I said to you, I've already done a timing chain upgrade. I feel sorry for Nissan owners around the world. And I really, really, really hope that we can help save your fortune in future repairs. So subscribe to our channel, find us on Facebook, join our Nissan Navara Snap Timing Chain group, or if you need my assistance with any repairs or any diagnosis information, please feel free to contact me on plus 44, 1274 663 nine, or in the UK, 01274 663 nine, or email westyorkshireengines at gmail.com. Subscribe to the channel and come again.